Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Jacob and I am so glad to have you guys join us today for Valley Kids Weekend Programming. It's going to be an awesome time. We're going to have some worship. We're going to have some Bible stories. We're going to end with our question of the week. So let's get started. For the song Believe we sing, and this is the testimony, God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son, and this life is in his son. Then we sing, whoever has the son has the life, and you get to jump around. Whoever has the son has the life. Whoever does not have the son of God does not have the life. And you sing, Jesus, you are life. Jesus, you are life. The testimony God has given us eternal life. And this is the testimony God has given us eternal life. And this life is in His Son. And this life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has the life. Whoever has the Son has testimony God has given us eternal life and this is the testimony God has given us eternal life and this is the testimony God has given us eternal life and this is the testimony God has given us eternal life and this life is in his son 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 whoever has the son has the life whoever has the son has the life whoever does not For the song Soar, we sing this. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They'll run and not grow weary. They'll walk and not be faint. Ha! Ah. On wings like eagles They will run and not grow weary They will walk and not be faint Oh, oh, oh Oh, 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 oh. oh. Isaiah
Hey, my friends! I am so excited to see you here. It's Howie, and I have yet another story from the Bible, and this one about the life of Jesus. And he's walking along the shore. He spots two fishermen, Peter and Andrew, and they're fishing. And I want you to pretend to be fishermen too. And Peter and Andrew use big nets to catch fish. So we're going to throw our nets into the water. All right. I'm going to say, "Ready, set." Throw, and you're gonna do it with me. All right, ready, set, throw the net into the water. Oh, good job. Now let's see if we can catch some fish. All right, ready. You gotta be really still. You gotta be really quiet. Shh. All right. Whoa, there's a lot of fish, but we need to try to pull them in. Ready, ready, set. One, two, three, pull. Oh. Well. There's not a lot of fish in there. Maybe we should do that one more time. Well, Jesus told Peter and Andrew they should cast their nets on the other side. So let's do that again. Ready, set, throw. All right. Let me cast the nets on the other side. And just like Jesus said, we cast it on the other side. Now let's pull it in. Ready, set, pull. And sure enough, Peter and Andrew. They caught all sorts of fish. Now Jesus, as he's talking to Peter and Andrew, says, "Come, follow me." Well, do you know what Peter and Andrew do did? They left their nets. They left everything they knew to follow Jesus. They wanted to be Jesus' friends, and most importantly, Jesus wanted to be friends with Peter and Andrew. Well, there were two more fishermen. By the names of James and John, and they were out there with their dad fishing, and Jesus said, "Come, follow me." And you know what? James and John didn't hesitate. They went and they followed Jesus. They left everything they knew to be some of Jesus's closest followers. Jesus loved. Peter, James, John, Andrew, and he loves you. Jesus wants to be friends with everyone. Who wants to be friends with everyone? That's right. Jesus wants to be friends with everyone. Let's say that again. Who wants to be friends with everyone? That's right. Jesus wants to be friends with everyone. He wants to be friends with you and you and you and you and you 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 and you. He wants to be friends with everyone. And that's something that we celebrate today. All right, let's take some time to pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for Peter and Andrew and James and John who chose to follow Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus to be our friend forever, and double thank you that we can follow him too. Lord, you are awesome, and we love you, and we thank you for loving us, and we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, we'll see you next time. Bye now. This month we're talking about cooperation. Cooperation is working together to do more with others than you can do by yourself. God talked to Moses, and He told Moses about a special tabernacle, a really fancy tent that He wanted the Israelites to make to worship Him. You see, the Israelites were still traveling around the desert, the wilderness, for 40 years because they had disobeyed God and not trusted Him to go into the Promised Land. But in that time, God still wanted them to be able to worship Him, to be able to grow in their love for Him, and to continue to trust that He would provide for them. So He told Moses everything that He wanted, how He wanted the tabernacle, the big tent to be shaped, what kind of instruments and tools should be in there, how everything should be. But the thing is, Moses thought to himself, um, I'm not a builder. I don't know how I'm going to make this happen. And God said, don't worry. I have entrusted skilled builders and others to do the work. They are in my people. They are part of the Israelites, and they will be the ones who will help. And there's some two pretty silly names that we hear about. There's a guy whose name was Bezalel. 
Bezalel. And another guy whose name was Oholiab. Bezalel and Oholiab. But these two guys were people with some serious building skill that God had gifted in an amazing way and trusted them to do big things. But it wasn't just going to do two people who would make this huge project happen. No, God was going to have the Israelites all work together. So Moses said, hey, everyone, here's what we need. We need some nice cloth and we need these different colors. We need wood. We need precious metals like gold and silver. We need stones to be able to make some solid parts. We need help. And so the people came and they said, uh, here, I, I chopped down some wood. Here you go. I, I cut it nicely so it can be used to build. Amazing. Other people said, hey, here's some nice purple cloth. And others said, hey, here's some red cloth. And oh, hey, I got some, some blue and some green cloth that we can use. And I'm really good at sewing so I can help make the canvas of this tent, this tabernacle, or some curtains that go inside of it. Other people said, here, you know what? The Egyptians gave me some gold coins. Take these, melt it, and make it into whatever you need to, to honor and praise God. And Bezalel and Oholiab, they were the main people giving instruction for how others could do the work. And all the Israelites came together and cooperated to do more together than you can do alone. And we're learning that God wants us to work together. Not all of us are gifted in the same ways. Not all of us have the same talents and abilities. Even if you think about a team, you know, if you think about football, you've got the quarterback who's good at throwing, a receiver who's good at catching. You think about different things like soccer. You've got a goalie who's good at diving out and blocking the ball. And you've got other people who are really good at scoring and shooting the ball into the net. It takes teamwork. It takes people with different gifts to work together. And that's how God made us. He made us to cooperate. And because the Israelites listened to God and they listened to Moses, and because God had given people so many gifts like Bezalel and Aholiab and other people were generous, they made the tabernacle. They made that special tent to worship God. And they made those things that they needed to worship and praise God too, because they worked together. Who's someone that you can work together with? Who's someone that God has put in your life that you can team up with to do something bigger than you can do all by yourself? For the song Serve, we say each of you should use whatever gifts you have received to serve, to serve, to serve, to serve others. And then we say, I want to serve you with the gifts you've given me. Oh yeah, I want, I want the world to see that I've got Jesus in me. To serve others, to serve, to serve, to serve, to serve others. I wanna serve you with the gifts you've given me. Oh yeah, I want, I want the world to see that I've got Jesus in me. Jesus received each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve to serve 
to serve, to serve others, to serve, to serve, to serve, to serve others. I wanna serve you with the gifts you give me. Oh yeah, I want, I want the world to see that I've got Jesus in me. serve you with the gifts you've given me oh yeah i want i want the world to see that i've got jesus in me jesus in me i want to serve you with the gifts you've given me oh yeah i want i want the world to see Wow, what an awesome time we've had together. It is now time for our question of the week. And this week's question is, when have you seen people work together? You can do things alone, but sometimes it's more fun. You can get a lot more done when you're working together. So think about the answer to that question. Go tell somebody else the question, see what they have to say, and compare answers. We'll see you guys here next time at Valley Kids Weekend Programming.